Although it was abandoned, many here in Sanford consider the mill a centerpiece of their town, some even stopping by today to see the damage and what was left behind. You could see it from the porch, and the flames were just like shooting out the sides and coming out the roof. Michael Braswell brought his family to survey the damage left behind by the flames. As he was returning from work Friday night, he couldn't believe what he saw. Lots of smoke. You could, we could see it from Wells when we were coming back. We could see the smoke coming up, and it was just crazy. He lives just two streets away from the abandoned mill and began to fear the building would collapse. You could feel the heat just from being around it. It was so so strong. Fortunately, more than 150 firefighters from 20 towns kept the flames from spreading even further. Our warehouse currently is directly behind the building that burned. Mark Roulard owns Central Furniture just across the street. Without uh, their good work, uh, we might be having a real hard time operating today. But to him, the mill was more than a neighbor. My great-grandparents immigrated here from Canada to work in that mill, and so uh, there is a connection there. I do feel some uh, sentimental loss. They'll definitely be missed, you know, because if they're gone. With a costly demolition project likely in the future for the mill, neighbors just say they hope that something productive can be done with that space. In Sanford, Joe Glauber, WMTW News 8.